Welcome back. Problem 8-21. This problem is taken from the book Mechanics of Material by R.C. Hibbler and that is chapter number 8 Combined Loading. The statement of problem is if the load has a weight of 600 pounds determine the maximum normal stress developed on the cross section of the supporting members at section AA also plot the normal stress distribution over the cross section so from this figure you can see this is the weight and the weight is 600 pound that is acting downward clear so you have to determine the normal stress developed in cross section AA the cross section of AA is given as uh, this is solid rod having one inch radius clear so you have to find this normal stress on this uh, section a a and you have to plot it as well so let's start with the solution so first step is that if you cut this uh, section at a a so and draw the free body diagram so i will draw it uh, this is the weight which is acting downward this is load p which is 600 pounds it is downward so when you cut it at section a a so you will be having a normal force n and you will have a movement as well let this movement will be in clockwise direction clear so by using uh, for internal loading this is what we call internal loading and so for internal loading we will use the equilibrium condition and the first equilibrium condition is that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to zero and upward force is taken as positive so n is upward and p is downward so n minus p is equal to zero so n is equal to p and p is again given as 1600 pounds so we have this n now we'll find this moment m so what we will do is that uh, the sum of all moment and let this point is point c so sum of all moment about point c must be equal to zero taking the counterclockwise moment as positive so about point c one moment is due to this load 600 and perpendicular distance is 1.5 feet clear so let me write it 600 multiplied by 1.5 feet and this is producing counterclockwise movement about point c so it will be positive the second movement about point c is this reaction movement which is clockwise and this will be minus m their sum must be equal to zero so from here you will get movement will be equal to 900 pounds into feet now you have this moment as well so what we will do is that you can here see that one load that is acting over here at cc is normal load so the normal stress will be equal to n divided by a and the second uh, uh, stress that is generated over here is bending stress due to this moment m and m so what will we will write it normal stress let me write it so the normal stress is the combination of is combination of axial and bending stress So let me show you axial stress this is the axial stress clear and due to this movement clear we have a bending stress as well so we can write this normal stress uh, is equal to axial stress which is n by a plus minus bending stress and we know that bending stress is mc divided by i so what we will do is that we will find the area section properties section properties area first we will find area so area is equal to pi r square for circular shape so pi multiplied by r is given as radius or radius is given as one inch 
so you will put one so it will be equal to pi and unit will be inch square because the radius is in inch the second step is you have to find the moment of inertia and moment of inertia is pi for circular rod is pi by 4 r power 4 clear so you can put the value pi by 4 r is 1 so i will be equal to pi by 4 and unit will be inch power 4 now you have all these values so put it in this formula clear so you will get the maximum stress will be equal to n n is given as six six hundred pounds so six hundred divided by area area is pi plus minus moment is nine hundred into c c is radius which is one divided by i which is pi by 4 so when you calculate it you will get maximum stress first we will add them that will give you a maximum stress so maximum stress comes out to be 13.9 ksi it means that this is tension so this maximum stress if we look if we draw it over here let this is point b this point is point b and this point is point a clear so this is its neutral axis will be this one or you can say this one this horizontal if you want to draw it according to your so this bending stress will be if you take this as a neutral axis so distance from neutral axis is this distance is taken as positive so the bending stress over here is 13.9 ksi clear we'll draw it at the end now for a negative value the uh, for similarly the maximum stress or you can say stress at point a this is maximum stress at point B and you can see maximum stress at point A will be equal to 600 divided by pi. Now this is minus 900 into C is distance from neutral axis till this point and this distance is minus 1 because it is in opposite direction. So again when you put it minus 1 divided by divide by area uh, i which is pi by 4 so you will get this value will be also 13.9 ksi but this will be in compression why because this one was positive this one was positive we have taken this distance positive from neutral axis so this was positive stress and here this is in opposite direction so this stress will be negative in compression uh, or in downward direction clear and uh, now we will draw this stress distribution over here so what we will do is that if i draw a circle this is its horizontal axis and this if this is its vertical axis clear this was your point b this was your point a so stress distribution at point b was positive in tension clear so this was 13.9 ksi and at point a that was downward compression it will be minus 13 point or 13.6 ksi downward so if you join both of these it will be like the stress distribution will be like this one this one we all this one will be moving upward and this one will be 
downward. So this is the stress distribution over the section AA and that was all about this problem 8-21 I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section also share my videos with your friends so that my channel may grow further thank you for watching